Oh, are you kidding me? They're out? Normally, normally, I don't like this. Sage, this isn't funny. Help me out, Sage. Come on, they're going everywhere. Get them, pick them up, pick them up. What? Oh no, there's a big poop too. Skippy, get away. Uh, Skippy, get away from that. Put them away, please. I'm, I'm good. It's I'm time good. to move them outside, right? Oh gosh, I yeah. built your house. It's time to move them outside. Today's the day, baby. Today's the day. God, they stink. Thank you. All right, so I've got to build a chicken house, and I don't want to buy anything from Home Depot or any of these other world well, companies. So I've been working all over the campground to dig up materials and see what's available to me so that I can get these chickens out of my house and make my wife happy. So I found everything that I need. I've got a box here that uh, a generator came in. I'm going to tear that apart and make some adjustments on it. I've got enough material to make, what are they called, beds? The beds, the roofs, or wh wherever they sit and lay eggs. I've watched a couple of videos on the right size and the right length, and I pretty much, I got, pretty much, I'm pretty sure I got that. Now what I want to do is make sure I have enough materials to do the job right. And uh, I don't want to start getting in materials and then realizing I'm running out of this and running out of that. So I've laid out the floors, the walls, and I haven't gotten the gables yet, but I'll probably have to use another type of material to do that. same size. Yep. And so this will be the back wall. I'll build some gables right here. And uh, these are going to be with a roost and I can get three of them 10 inches wide and 13 inches deep. All right, man. So this will be the chicken's house. Now we just got to fortify this thing, stiffen it up a little bit. We'll go ahead and put a lifting top, leave it on an angle so that the rain will wash off. Some hinges on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of beds. I don't know what the heck they're called. They're bedding or they're where they sleep, where they lay eggs. Right on this side and on this side. And then there'll be a little hole here they can go into. Hold. So if I run along 
they are pretty much an inch off each side is all I need. I don't even need that much. I can, I can hold it back two inches. It gives me more meat to shoot into eventually. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna come, we're gonna hold it. Three, what are they called, bedding boxes? I think so, nesting Bed, boxes. Nesting, nesting boxes. So the videos on YouTube said these have to be minimum of eight inches. These are gonna be 10 or 11. Because our chickens are city chickens. <laughs> Power tool shots are the best shots. <laughs> Measure once, cut twice. <laughs> Wow, look at that expert cut. <laughs> <So> dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> but go in center. Right here. All right, ready? Yeah. Fuck it. Keep sucking, keep sucking, keep sucking. It's going you're into there. the wood. Good. It's you good. <laughs> We have to figure out some type of a drip edge that we can put against here. Keep the water from sliding down into that. But I'll come up with something. Cool. 
Not much, but hold it tight, bud. Now try that one. Oh, you made it a tighter cut, that angle. Did you freehand the angle? Yeah. That's pretty badass, pretty babe. Badass, pretty huh? pretty badass. Yeah. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. So then we'll do one here. Right on the edge of this. Yep, get them nice and even. That's a pretty damn good. Are you enjoying yeah. using the power tools again, babe? Huh? Are you I, enjoying I, I enjoy this. So you wanted a chicken coop? Yeah. This is the chicken coop that I've designed for you. I used an old box that a uh, generator came in. It's been sitting out here for months and it was actually the perfect size. I've added sleeping bedding boxes on two sides of it. This is going to be the roofing material. Both of these will open so you can reach in. You and Sage can reach in and get eggs. But check this out. We're going to cut this off right here. Okay. But check this out. This slides up. And see, see the little roost that's in there? Come on and look at this roost. Oh, that's, that's about cool. the perfect height, right? Yeah. And it's so when they poop, wood. they poop down there. Yeah. But here's even the best, best part. Yeah. Not only can you get in the top by doing this, yeah. you, when it comes time to clean it, see these little latches I've got over here? Yeah. See the little latches I've got? These pop off and the whole box slips off the top of the pallet. So I can clean the so bottom. So you can lift it off, just rake it off and it's done. See, I got one here, and I've got two on the other side, right over here. See this one here? So all you do is snap this up, uh, lift up the whole thing, rake it off, get the bird poop out of there, drop it back down, or hit it with a hose, and then you're good to go. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty That's cool, pretty, huh? Very cool. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank yes, you, brother. Poopy. Happy wife, happy life. Push me a little bit.
mark will just slide underneath. Just put a little slide rack on both sides so this can drop down if we want to lock it up. Nice. So I need a cake. A couple of one by two by twos and just do a rabbit bit right down the side and this like a slug up and down. Yeah, and a couple screws into this. You know what I mean? So the problem we're facing is when she introduces the other 17 chickens to this guy yeah. or this hen, Bumbelina. what's going to happen. So this is what I built you. Wow. This is nice. This is huge. I mean, it's a lot of chickens. Nice. I got a roost in there for them. And then you've got two beddings on each side. Hinged. Nice. Sage, pay, pay attention. This is where you're going to be collecting. Wow. Let me just shoot this real quick. Just look at me. Mm -hmm. With a smile. Nope. Look at that sage. Sage, look. Look. Look at this. Isn't this so awesome? They're going to be so happy. This is perfect. Just grab the egg. Scoop them right up. Wow. This is amazing. Pretty cool, huh? That's pretty cool. All right, let's go get the chickens and see what happens. Oh, dear. So we got 17 chickens we're introducing to Bumbelina. Yeah. Bumbelina is the lowest on the pecking order and she gets beaten up by all the chickens so we gave her this cage by herself. Yeah. But when we introduce the chickens out here, if she has a problem with them, we're going to have to remove her yep. and put her in a, you know, a cage by herself because these chickens are not coming to the house anymore. Yeah. This is the coop. Built this here. This will just be a slide that will shut the door at night. Take them out. I'm trying to tell them where the water is. <laughs> now, Bumbelina is naturally afraid of egg all in all chickens. Yeah, she's pretty docile. I'll get this. Please don't be mean, Bumbelina. Please don't be mean. Let's get this thing. Okay, go grab whichever one you want. Yeah, he got in. Yeah, he's going the wrong way. John doesn't know this one's still inside the house. Don't tell him. We said in our last video that you vote with your dollars. It's the most powerful thing we have anymore. And you never really think about how to support the local small businesses without giving your dollars to these companies who are trying to destroy our way of life. 
And it's really cool what's unfolding here. We've got a whole bunch of cattle. We've got 226 uh, acres of land. We picked out our home site where we're gonna build our homestead. Um, we're gonna try to do it without materials that are purchased or sold through woke companies, which is gonna make it challenging but we're gonna do it. Our hope in the next year is to become 100% self-sufficient, build our home and some barns and some chicken coops mm -hmm. and just see where God takes us. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching this channel, chances are something's a little off with you. <laughs> and I hate to say that, but hey, you spot it, you got it. So welcome. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the RV Odd Squad, you guys. Please subscribe to our channel support the work that we're doing yeah watch our videos to the end give them thumbs up and just watch this crazy adventure yeah and come out to thunder canyon visit with us camp with us sit around a fire 